Okay, I was cut off in the last video because I exceeded my 20 minute uh, time limit. But let's go ahead and solve the problem. So we have, look at the final line. We have 5.5 millimoles of calcium chloride and we have 5 millimoles of calcium nitrate. So leave the silver chloride alone because all of the silver chloride that you see, the 10 millimole, is in the solid precipitate state. So use the 5.5 millimole of calcium chloride, which is aqueous, that's leftover excess, and use the 5 millimoles of calcium nitrate that is also in the final state that's floating in the solution as spectator ions to find your ion concentrations. So let's start from calcium ion. Remember, calcium ion shows up in calcium chloride and calcium ion shows up in calcium nitrate. So there are two parts that you have to add up together. So let's go ahead and do that. So to find molarity of my calcium ion, you have to add up the two millimoles of the, so that the numerator are essentially total millimoles of calcium ion. The denominator is total volume of solution, which is 85.0 or 85, just to keep things into sig fig milliliters. The total millimoles of calcium, so remember that we talked about calcium chloride being 5.5. So let's work with that one first. So look at calcium chloride relationship to the 5.5 millimoles. So I'm going to write it here. We have 5.5 millimoles of calcium chloride. How many millimoles of calcium is that? So remember calcium chloride is calcium ion and two chloride ions. So if you have 5.5 millimole of the compound, because there is a one mole of calcium in that one formula unit, you essentially have 5.5 millimole of calcium ions. The other product that we had is 5 millimoles of calcium nitrate. So 5.0 millimoles of calcium nitrate. And using the same logic, because the ratio of calcium to the compound is 1 to 1, you have 5 millimoles of calcium. So 5.0 millimoles. So let's do the numerator, which is 10.5 divided by 85. It's 0.12. So my answer of calcium ion concentration is just 0.12 moles per liter. Remember I have in this calculation the units are millimole over milliliter. The millis cancel. You're left with moles per liter. So this is one particular ion concentration. Let's go to our next ion. We took care of calcium. The next one is chloride. Chloride is only in calcium chloride, not in the other compounds. So it's a little bit easier. So look at your 5.5 millimoles of calcium chloride. So the concentration of chloride is equal to, you have a ratio of 2 to 1 now in the formula. So multiply the 5.5 millimole times 2, divided, divide, and divided by 85 milliliter, and that would be your chloride ion concentration. 2 times 5.5 is 11, divided by 85, is 0.13 molarity. So that's my chloride ion concentration. Now let's move over to, we took care of calcium and chloride. Now let's go to, we did calcium already, we just need to do nitrate. We have five millimoles of calcium nitrate, and that's up here. And look at the ratio, there's two to one. So two mole of nitrate for every mole of calcium nitrate. So if you have five millimoles, you multiply it times two. So my nitrate concentration is two times 5.0 millimoles from the calcium nitrate, dividing it by 85. All these ions are in 85 milliliters. So this is 10 divided by 85, which is 0.12 molarity. So 
Here are the three ion concentrations in that solution. This is a harder problem, but if you use your ICF table and do this ion accounting, things should work out good for you as long as you're organized and you write your millimoles here and you balance your equation and you look at your formulas and look at the relationships, the mole relationships between the ions in the formula. And we also utilize this factor method. This factor method is very powerful and very quick and uh, it helps you come up with the answer uh, of, of these lines pretty quickly. So I hope this was useful for you and uh, um, we need more practice. So we'll give you some more practice on this. That's it.